Tis not alone my inky cloak, good mother, nor customary suits of solemn black, nor windy suspiration of forced breath, no, nor the fruitful river in the eye. I think what excites me about the play is it's so complete. You know, it's, it's funny, it's tragic, it's moving, it's a thriller, it's a ghost story, it's a political mind game. It's such a, a complete piece of storytelling and I think that at the, at the core of all of that, the kind of grandeur and scope of this epic story is just a story about families, you know, about two dysfunctional families and the way they destroy each other. So I think it's, it's, it's a very humane play. Well, let the world take note, you are the most immediate to our throne, and with no less nobility of love than that which dearest father bears his son, do I impart toward you. For this particular production, I've taken a very contemporary setting, but tried to work on the, the notion that Elsinore is a real character in the play, so this, this little world behind me here is very much the, the I guess, the palace windows or walls of Elsinore Castle, in which no one is ever alone and no one has any privacy and so there's a lot of voyeurism, a lot of surveillance, a strong sense that even the most intimate human relationships are being spied upon or watched and no one can ever find sanctity or, or safety in this world. To be or not to be. That is the question. What drew me to Josh as an actor is, is that he has the ability to play, the, I guess, the full breadth of Hamlet's myriad personalities. He has such um, a dangerous, thrilling quality on stage and yet a great and a hardness, you know, a real fear factor that he can bring to a role. But he also has a, an immense softness and a great, great, deep sensitivity. To die. To sleep. Sleep. For Bell Shakespeare, it's a particular thrill to take this play on the road. It's Bell's done this play several times in its 25-year history, and to take it to the to the regions on a national tour is sort of the, the the point of this year's celebration of this play. You know, it's only ever done the capital cities or the major major kind of venues around the country, and this one's going to 30 places, and, and it's a fantastic opportunity to give people who might never have a live Hamlet come into their town an opportunity to see this play. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of dispriced love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make